hello guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be showing you how i make my moi moi the first thing i'm going to be doing is to take off the skin of the beans by using my blender so i'm just going to put it in the blender for an add some water in it and then use my um pulse button to crush the beans gently so guys i'm just getting all the skin out of the beans that's what i'm basically doing here and then get it ready to be blended So I have all the skin out. I'm going to be adding my bell pepper, scotch bonnet, onions, and my red pepper into the beans and then blend them together. I'm putting the beans into the blender now and um, I'll let it blend really smooth. I'm going to be blending it really, really smooth. I'll add some water into it and then I'll blend it and get it ready for my memory. Um, you can see some beans that are left. I'll repeat the process again and then until I'm done. So guys, I have one large cabbage here, which I'm going to be putting in a boiling water and allow it for at about 10 minutes to soften up. So guys, while that is going on, I'll be showing you how I use foil paper to make um, moi moi, how I wrap it in the foil paper. So just um, watch and learn the steps how I fold the foil paper and um, you can never get it wrong so the first thing you want to do is to fold the foil paper after cutting a sheet out you fold it into two equal parts and then you fold each side that is foldable um, three times and then you fold the other end also three times and then you have your um, for paper secured so it won't leak just like this you can see it's well secured it can't leak as you can see so you do that until you are satisfied that will be enough for you to um, make the quantity you have so guys I forgot to let you know you have to remove the core of the cabbage and put it in a boiling water that's the first step so and then you allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes and you let it soften up before you start removing it as you can see here I didn't remove the core first so it's a little bit difficult for me to get the leaves out so guys i'm gonna be adding eggs as well so that's what i'm doing at the moment so
I'm going ahead now to put the um, beans in the cabbage leaf and as you can see it's very very flexible very flexible because it was boiled but how flexible it is so I'm gonna put in um, my beans into the leaves so guys, let me give you some of the health benefits of cabbage. Cabbage has something called oxidized LDL, which is linked to hardening of the arteries. And also, since it eases inflammation, it can help prevent heart diseases. Um, also, cabbage has an outstanding nutrient and profile, and is especially high in vitamin C and K. So eating cabbage may help in lowering the risk of certain um, diseases and is also good for digestion. So guys, here is how I wrap it. I'll be putting my eggs inside. The beans is already here. So see how I wrap it because it's very flexible. I can wrap it the way I want to. Look at how solid it is. I'm putting my water into it now. I'm putting it into the oven now. And I'll leave it for at about 45 minutes. And after 45 minutes, it's done. Um, now I'm using my foil paper. You see how I use the foil paper to make the moi moi. Very solid, no leakage at all. So just watch and see how I do it. So the next thing I'm going to be using is um, the ramekin. I love using this ramekin because it's so simple. All you need to do is just to rub it a little bit of oil and then you put your beans mixture in it and then transfer it into your pot and uh, that's it and you give it let's say at about 20 minutes and then your mama is ready for you. So I forgot to mention you have to wrap it after you put your beans mixture into the ramekin. You have to wrap it up with your foil paper and then you transfer it into the pot. So guys, the first one is ready, which is the cabbage roll, and this is how it looks, as you can see, very nice and very tasty as well. You should try it and see. So this is the foil paper 
the moin moin in the fall paper so let's see how it looks so how solid it is no leakage at all guys just look at it oh wow very nice but this is the one in the ramekin and then this is the after you can serve with it more or um spaghetti and stir fry thanks for watching